Okay, perfect. Teddy, good morning, man. Uh, good morning. Folks, you can reach Teddy every trading day. Sign up for the Tiger Forex Report. Check it out for 30 days. You get the archive of the webinar that he just did. And, uh, Teddy, some great calls in the letter this week, man. Uh, where do you want to kick things off on a pretty interesting day in the markets and in general? Uh, well, I think we have a little bit of a pause going on now today. You know, we had some really good market action the uh, past couple of uh, trading sessions, really from Friday going into yesterday's trade. So I think right now you have a kind of like just a little stabilizing profit taking uh, action going on right now. Um, overall, the dollar's in a correction. I think today it's showing a little strength just because, you know, you have the bonds that are down a little bit, the 10 years down a couple, I think like four or five uh, ticks right now. You know, so I think that's what's just, what we're seeing right Right now is just that it's just a little profit taking move I wouldn't doubt that you're gonna see yields kind of pull back a little bit more and I think that'll also add a little pressure to the dollar over the next couple of sessions yeah quite the move in the dollar I referenced it at the beginning of my program saying man you know the move today doesn't look that big meanwhile and I just have it going back right now Teddy on a 15 minute chart just five days and I have the Thursday high in the dollar index above 113 and we were mm -hmm. pushing almost 109 yesterday so we're catching a little bit of a lift today but nothing compared to, to kind of that run we've had and, and what do you anticipate I mean, what did you um, credit that move I mean that was quite a move from 113 to 109 coming into election day um, mm -hmm. well, what do you attribute that kind of negative market action is that just general statement that we may be pulling back there or what what uh what do you think of that move and, and is that going to hold mm -hmm. i guess or, or if you can give us you know some of the information you talk about in the tiger forex report just for the dollar sure. and the general trend sure. short term versus long term because that's quite a pullback man in over three or four days sure well you know what i think it's really just a corrective pullback to be quite honest with you i really don't think that, um, you know, there's too many people that are getting becoming dollar bears right now, you know, and saying inflation is going to die down and stuff like that. I really think this is the calm before the storm, to be quite honest with you, going into the holidays. I mean, I can't see how we're not going to see an explosion in, in energy prices over the winter, you know, especially like. You know, I would say that probably come December, December's rollovers for the financial futures is going to be probably a nice normal rollover. And then it's going to get crazy as far as going into the new year with March contracts and stuff like that. I think the volatility you're going to see across the board is just going to start to ignite going into the holidays. You know, and I think that what we're seeing right now is just a little bit of a stabilization period. You know, you have the ECB, you have other central banks around the world that are now kind of doing what our Fed is doing, if you will, to some extent. So that's lessening the blow that the U.S. dollar and the Fed has had on these other markets. You know, it's just slowing things, though. You know, I mean, the trend with Powell is still that there's going to be an aggressive rate hike, you know, going on until next year, until they really see inflation, you know, pulling back, you know, or that we're in a recession. So, you know, we're that's debatable right now, depending on who you ask, is whether or not we're in one. Yeah, I mean, if, if we are, maybe it just has to be a tougher inflation recession or whatever it is mm -hmm. because I was just talking about the jobs right I mean it seems like in companies rightfully so um, because if I'm a shareholder man I almost want companies like to go bare bone man cut it all down right now if you can um, mm -hmm. and save some cash but eventually that's not a good thing for the market overall but we're not even close man we're getting mm -hmm. two three hundred four hundred five hundred thousand jobs almost on some of the months on a pretty recent basis and that's just not how things have to go I think um, right. for a turnaround to take place Mm -hmm. uh, Euro. I checked the Euro before you came on. We're sitting right at about parity. So you, I know this ties in basically to the dollar, of course. Um, mm -hmm. But what do you think about the Euro sitting at, at basically a parity on the dot right now? Well, you know what? Yesterday and even today, we're buttoned up against, you know, multi-week highs, you know. So, I mean, I think that right now you're seeing this little pullback this morning. It's just a little profit-taking move. you got to realize the euro went from 97 up to, you know, almost 101, you know, in a period of a few sessions, you know. Yeah. So, and I think that right now what we're seeing just today, this morning, is a pullback. I mean, the when the dollar originally started out in the trading session this morning, it was in a totally different, you know, direction, you know. So this little pullback, I think, is just a profit taking move. And I would watch what happens to the uh, the bond, the, the yield curve. If they start to pull back again and you see a rally in the bonds in the 10 years, then I would see, bet you that you're going to see the euro U.S. dollar higher on the day actually today. So I, I got a really good feeling that this trend right now, this is just a pullback and that we're going to probably at least spike high over the next couple of sessions just to push things a little bit. You know, yesterday, 
the the yen, the uh, euro, and the pound and multiple currencies hit their 50-day averages or right around okay. there. So the averages when they're you know when they moving averages are great for showing trend when there really is a trend. So you know that right now the downward you know sloping average becomes resistance. Is it going to be real resistance? Well, that remains to be seen. But that's where we're flirting with right now, and there's no reason why we wouldn't spike in there, you know, just flirt with it, and then see that the dollar comes back, roaring back with strength, and makes, you know, new highs against these other currencies still. It is pretty interesting on the CPI and just the overall sentiment of how long things are going to mm -hmm. take potentially to cool off and where the Fed goes. Uh, you're obviously looking for some hot numbers if you're going to see that persist. Is 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 that something that, you know, begins in the short term as in tomorrow? How do traders, uh, you know, with with what you're putting out there, right? Where are you looking mm -hmm. for the action to be tomorrow on the CPI? Is the market going to react that short term or is this something that's already factored in? Because it's almost like you said, yes, the Fed may begin to to stop raising, but that's like a, a bull case. It seems like the normal case is the bull mm -hmm. case because that's the best case scenario. What's the bull right. case if that's not the bull case, right? The bull case right. is. We're kind of there and things are going to get better pretty soon because, boy, the Fed's been hiking pretty rough. It's like, OK, well, that's a pretty hopeful case. And mm -hmm. then the other side of things is that, boy, things persist. So does this as in do these things start happening one month, two months? Where do you look for maybe that dollar, let's say, to really start the next leg higher on a time frame basis? Or are you just looking for price action? Uh, right now, I'm looking for price action, and I think that the leg higher is going to happen over the next month or so. I would, I will truly believe that we're going to see dollar strength going into the first quarter of next year. That's when you're having to start looking at where things might start to turn around because Powell right now, eventually they do have to start at least cutting back on how much they're raising their rates. That's going to start to slow things, and as like the other central banks continue to do half points and we, let's say we go down to a quarter that's going to start to weaken the dollar versus these other currencies in the short run you know so but i think definitely going into the first quarter the dollar is going to be the bull and then next year is when we're going to start to see the turn especially politically if if policy actually falls to political pressure and starts to stop raising rates not cutting rates but just stop because of whatever pressure is coming from you know uh, washington that would have a big influence also on the dollar as well you know sure, yeah. so but i i just don't see that really happening and i think that we'll have to wait that's months ahead of us right now you know and at that point you'll see the dollar much stronger you'll see the bonds much lower you know i mean you got to remember the yield curve has been growing at such a rapid rate i mean it needs to, that needs a pullback too that would be healthy you know even if it's not because of cutting rates it would be just a a, a easing on the rate hiking, you know. So, yeah. and I think I think that that's what we're going to start to see come next year, you know. But you not make, until then. You make some great points, man. I agree with a lot of them. It's pretty interesting. I saw the headline today. I think it's seven point one four percent the yield on the thirty year mortgage. <laughs> um, and with that in mind, right, we have the chairman with the rhetoric he's saying, saying we're going to be higher than the market thought. We're going to keep yep. going. So I agree, man. We'll see. Teddy, thanks for the time as always, man. We'll Thank talk you, to you Tom. next Wednesday. See you next okay. week.